What's going on, collectives? It is your girl, Jenny Quay, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you. And I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So let's tap in. All right. So off the bat, this is not for anyone vibrating low. Okay. Um, because, you know, this is serious. This wisdom being given from our ancestors. That's our power, right? It's time to channel. However that may seem for you, it is time to channel your higher self. It is time to, um, to channel your true power, your essence, right? Bringing back peace to Mother Earth and its planet that is under attack right now. Everyone, especially the chosen ones, are doing this by tapping into our darkness and overcoming our fears and learning how to use that darkness instead of running away. All right. And eliminating all of the enemies from Mother Earth so that way we can live in peace. All right. This is that silent war that the King Rashad Jamal was speaking about. I don't know if you if you if you know Rashad Jamal, but he's a he was a, a huge influence in the first steps in my journey. All right, so you know he always was, he was talking about this silent war, and this is exactly what it is, right? So, and not only is it in your food. That they've been trying to unalive you, all right? Not only is it, because you got to think, even if you go vegan, even if you try to eat natural, you know, they're, they're playing with the food now, right? Not only the thing sprayed in the sky, YouTube, this is only for entertainment purposes only, okay? Everybody knows that, okay? So... Not only isn't it the, is it is it in the things that they are sprayed, spraying, the chemical spills that's been happening all over, polluting our oceans, polluting our oceans. That's why you keep hearing people getting unalive. That's why you keep. Um, I think it was like a, a a place where people were jumping in and they were getting electrocuted. Everything is not by accident. It is because Mother Earth is tired of it, all right? All of the polluting going on in our oceans, oceans causing so much of our people to get hurt. You know, just be, you know, us chosen ones, we travel, we, we, we meet new people. And a lot of our tribes, believe it or not, are not where we are planted currently. And that's why a lot of us has moved. That's why a lot of us are moving. Because now, wherever you're moving to, that's where your, your fertile soil is at. So as all of these things are happening, right? Causing so much of people to get hurt. This is real life. And that's why I say it's not a game. It's cool to go out. You know, we got we got seven so-called days in a week. You could do Friday, Friday, Saturday. You could party or whatever. But what are you doing for humanity? What are you doing to elevate yourself? Because you can't, You you. it's impossible to think that you can be a leader and you haven't given anything as an example to lead from. And you do that by working on yourself. So that's why I say it's real life. All right. We not about to be getting ran off either because a lot of us be running from our problems. A lot of us be scared when they hear these um, these things about the government. And a lot of people are worried about their finances and all of this stuff. But as y'all can see, there are a couple of us chosen that can't be ran off. The question should be, why the fuck they doing that to our foods? Why the fuck they doing that and start researching or putting a word out there or something, but just doing nothing? Oh yeah, you're gonna be a part of the a part of the ones that's 
that's getting swept out. All right? We are warriors. And us chosen ones, this is what we've been born for. This is what we came here to do today. This, right now, whatever's going on. See, our ancestors fought those physical wars where they was outside. Now, us, we fight in a silent war. This is what's going on right now. And that's why a lot of us readers, that's why a lot of us spiritualists or herbalists or every everything involving spirit right now and your talents and your gift, it's more needed now because this 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 world is dwindling down. The 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 enemy is losing control. And that's why I say this is the best time to be alive because what the fuck we scared about? The enemy is losing control. So as they lose control, they, the only thing they can exhaust is fear. And for a lot of us, it's it's working on a lot of people. All right. People still caught up in the news. People still caught up in this and that. They're not even going within. And remember, this is a season of channeling. You hear me? We are warriors and this is what we came to do. So, you, you know, you're remembering who you are. You are remembering who you are and it's creating that beast that's inside of you. You're now, I'm getting a strength card. You're now learning how to tame it. See, before we was programmed into getting rid of that darkness. We was programmed into getting rid of that fierceness or getting rid of that, that, that anger. That wasn't the purpose. We are now being reprogrammed to not get rid of it. We needed to fight off these forces. We need our courage. We need our strength. We need our confidence. We need our beauty. We need all of those things. We just need to learn how to balance that shit out. Because a lot of us were so hurt and put around narcissists that we didn't know and learn how to master our gifts. So a lot of us Oh, a lot of us use our gifts in a negative light. We abuse our power. So now we reprogram ourselves and mastering our gifts. We know what to do. This is why you are being cool. All right. This is why you are being cool. You're remembering who you are. So, you know, you're remembering your soul is remembering what it has came to do. All right. This is the fight. This is how you fight silently. This is what's going on. All right. This is why, again, the readers are coming out and hitting on topics. And because our gifts are enhancing, because we're mastering it. Right. So we are the ones in charge to raise the frequency of the planet right now. Our mother. So then, you know. You, you ask yourself, so why are people so distracted? All right. Everything we've been talking about is now happening. Everything we've been preparing for, and I'm not talking about going to supermarkets and stack up or no, this shit is a mental warfare. All right. So all of this that we've been talking about is now happening and people still out here distracted from Monday through Sunday. The people that is thinking it's funny and has thought it was a game. All right. And those not knowing when to tighten up, they're being X out as we speak silently. <laughs> Collectives. The people that is thinking it's funny or have thought it was a game. Right. And those not knowing when to tighten up. They're being X out as I'm telling you this silently. OK. These people only like. The spiritual stuff. They like the tarot cards. They they like the attire of wearing spiritual beads and stuff. All right. Putting on certain things. All right. But putting no action. And to helping the collectors evolve. Just being deaf, dumb, and distracted like they've been. Okay. This message is definitely not for you. If you're still being deaf, dumb, and distracted because you had time. To, all right. Again, you could go back in my past readings. God said we are no longer watering down the messages because you had time. All right. So how many messages and chosen ones that got to constantly keep putting out messages for you to wake up? God say, uh-uh. 
We not here to do that. We not here to force. We 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 here to to put out the calling. And whoever chooses to answer that motherfucking calling, all right, congratulations. And whoever does not, still kudos to you. <laughs> Cause now you, you're gonna, now spirit done stripped you from your understanding. Now you're leaning on your own understanding and leaning on our own understandings never get us right when we're talking about going against what God is telling you to do. All right. So God is sick of it. God is saying how many messages and, uh, and us chosen ones that he gotta be consistently using to keep putting out the messages for you to wake up. That's not what we're doing. All right. These people are gonna continue to still be deaf, dumb, and blind. And you know who you are. All right. A lot of our gods and goddesses. Right. Are being affected. By these pollutions. And these chemical spills. All right. But some states. We are not affected. So when. Us. Right. That's not affected. See those. Of our gods and goddesses. Are. That are being affected, all right, by this happening. And then there's others still playing on the sideline, being stupid and distracted. All right, we move into that war mode. And then that's when we talking out, that's when we tap in our darkness. Because just because it's not affecting us in certain states, there's there's those that is trying and it's affecting them through those chemicals and stuff. So, you know. We move into war because this is called the silent fucking war. And that's why when we moved into age of Aquarius and went from I to we thing, literally meaning we as a whole. Actually, you know, because the system is not showing you or not broadcasting what is actually happening in those other places. You got to go on TikTok. You got to go here. We got to do readings. A lot of things are not being publicized as how it should be when it comes to what they are doing and what our goddesses and gods are experiencing in other countries and in other states and stuff like that. So because this is called the silent war, that is what has been oppressing against you right now. All right. If your heart chakra open, you already know. You already know what I'm talking about. All right. You already know what time it is. If your heart chakra open. All right. So if you made your changes in your life. All right. And those of us that did make the changes in our life. All right. That he has called you in position for. We, this is us. This is us. Do you see us moving in fear? No. And you've been changing drastically. The higher God has been pushing you. All right. That's your ancestors pushing you collective. And with this amount of power we have coming together, they can't run us off. That's why these comics are getting mad. That's why these people that you used to work for are getting mad. This is why they can't run us off because even if those people in other states don't have no, no strength, we still provide no strength because our presence are being felt in many places. All right. They can't run us off nowhere. And that's why they panicking. All right. Us chosen ones. All right. We been channeling. <laughs> okay. We been channeling. We been channeling inwards. Needing no validation from nobody. Us, us chosen ones and the ones that's moving. I'm here moving in silence. You hear me? The things that we are doing and being ridiculed for. We not giving a fuck. We don't need no validation from you. Oh, oh, the spell work not working. Oh, we don't need no validation from you. We know how the spell work not working no more. Oh, you feeling paranoid because you did some shit. Oh, oh, we not needed no motherfucking validation from nobody. Okay. So again, us chosen ones. All right, the ones that's been channeling inwards, we are needing no validation from nobody. And when you're channeling, right, when we channeling, that's not even us speaking. It's our soul speaking. It's the Orisha speaking. It's our ancestors speaking. It's source speaking. It's Mother Earth. It's Father speaking. Okay. So it's the ancestors 
that was in a physical before that have been disrespected that we ain't tolerating. And that's why this karma is so brutal. All right, so let's step in and let's see what you need to know, collectives. Um, Arch Archangel Michael and Alegua, please protect me. Protect my, my mind, my body, and my spirit. Clear all my chakras as I channel what the collectives need to know about this current energy. Brooklyn, stop. All right, blue aura. That's where we need to be. All right, that's where we need to be. All right, this is about connecting to your intuition. Collective, you are honest. You are clear and you are at peace. All right, you're not moving to make anybody happy no more. You're being your authentic self. You're utilizing your intuition. All right, you're speaking whatever it's on your mind because your intentions is right. And you're reaching higher heights. I'm seeing you are on cloud nine right now. All right. Blue is also yama ya. All right. Clarity, peace. And you're protecting that. You're protecting your intuition by going with your intuition and not second guessing it. You're protecting your, your honest, your honesty by being real. All right. You're, you're protecting your crown chakra and that clarity by clearing your throat chakra by not by not holding things in and you're protecting your peace well look protection spirit what else the collective needs to know oh my gosh tarot cards has been leading you all right if you are a reader this is for you Okay, literally, this is for you. You've been honest with your readings. All right? You've been given wise counsels. You are the oracle. You are source of information for people. All right? People go to you to, to figure out things that they can't see beyond. They come to you for you to see beyond the current situation. You are knowledge. You are a walking oracle you channel all right you channel this is one of your gifts this this is what is heightening your intuition and your peace right now clarity you're not caring about if somebody got triggered by a reading all right your intentions was to help the collectives rise and give them inspiration yeah, yeah, your intentions is not supposed to be trying to please motherfuckers when you are reader. You hear me? Look, nature, you connect with nature. A lot of you guys, you love being grounded. You love walks in the park. You love that, that moment of solitude. You chat, you, you know, that's a, that's an intimate moment for you guys. You love walking in silence. All right, so. A lot of you guys are readers, and for those that have been receiving support and guidance from readers or from personal readings, all right, it's looking like you know you've been getting you've been getting trustworthy messages, all right. Um, tarot card has opened up the eyes for a lot of people, all right. For a lot of us divine feminines, all right, we were called in position to pick up. A spiritual um, practice and utilize it to help the collectors rise. All right. A lot of people chose to pick up a gift and do the opposite with it. Okay. I saw indigo. For some of you guys, you are indigo spirit. You are indigo child. You are special. This is a special talent that you have because again, it's not because of the tarot. Now you're, I'm getting a runula. Now you're able to connect. It's the source that you have within yourself that's giving you the confidence to know that your readings is true. All right. It would be senseless to pick up tarot and you are not right within. 
This is a skill. This is a mastery. Because it allows you to be a medium between heaven and earth. And a lot of people do not have access to that position. All right. Soul contract. You are fulfilling your soul contract. All right. You are fulfilling your soul contract. All right. You are learning. So for some of you guys, the ones that are actually taking in and being open to the to the teachings and the lessons that Tara has been giving you guys. All right. You've been clearing out common contracts. You've been understanding what common contracts are. You've been healing those cycles. And for us tarot readers, this is what we speak on. This is fulfilling our soul's purpose. All right. In alignment with our contract, because we are doing what we were called to do. Believe it or not, a lot of tarot card readers come from a life, you uh, a life of street life where before you might have never even trusted us with doing tarot. That was a silent scale. All right. That was a skill that was within us. This is something like you can't, it, it has to be a calling. You're fulfilling your soul contract, divine feminine, divine masculine, whoever, you know, has, has picked up this because not only are, are you healing yourself, you're, you're allowing others to break free from, 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 um, contracts. That they are not supposed to be in. A lot. And, and this is why. A lot of us readers get attacked. Right. If that's the word. Because we are exposing. Those karmic contracts. We are exposing those real contracts. We are exposing the contracts that you have. On your divine purpose. All right, Devon messengers. All right, Devon messengers. All right, these messages have been coming through from the divine. All right, these are divine messages, collectives that you've been. If um y'all readers out here, us readers, we've been we've been tapping in. All right, we've been channeling, and that's why those who aren't are being xed out as we speak, because you getting this message right now. You wake it up, right? We've been channeling the divine, all right, allowing us to deliver divine messages that is true, that is honest, that is clear, that is clarification on your situation. We have been given authority to connect with source, be the medium from heaven and earth. I'm hearing genie in a bottle. All right. These are messages from higher source. Or in every message collectives that you put out there and whoever that is a tarot card reader, even if you're going to a reader, keep going to that reader. That reader knows what they're talking about. These messages are coming from the divine, a higher source. And the only way you are, are able to receive these messages through channeling. Through seeing beyond someone's current situation. By trusting yourself. By trusting that whatever you're, you're hearing, it's true for you to say. Doing this collectives, you, 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 you've um, closed out a lot of your contracts also. All right, let's see. So spirit, give me more on this blue aura. It's like yeah, when people when people get around you collectives, you might even experience a lot of people just telling you a lot about their life very, very fast because that's how comfortable you make them feel. Spirit, give me more. Damn. Wow, ghosted. So somebody may have ghosted you or um, 
You may have ghosted somebody or there was some sort of separation spirit. Give me more about this ghosted. Content. Yeah, so a lot of you guys separated from a situation. All right, or a lot of you guys, thank you, spirit. So when people come for readings, if you are a reader, or when people come for wise um, for wise counsel from you, right? For clarity, all right. You you give them inspiration to leave silently, all right. You give them courage and inspiration to not feel like they have to owe anybody any validation for the for the choice that they've made. You give people inspiration to be content and leaving silently. Sometimes a lot of y'all situations don't require an explanation because they knew better. All right, so somebody intuition. A lot of people intuition gain clarity. They gain clarity when you when they when they pick up a a reading from you or when they watch a reading when they get a reading from you. All right, where they feel a sense of peace, clarity, and and hope. When it comes to leaving a situation, see what what a lot of people fail to realize that everybody has intuition, and it's only you only usually lis listen to a reading or or pick up on a reading because we are confirming something that you already knew to be true, but you didn't trust yourself. All right, so when people come and get a reading. This has been always in somebody's heart to just pick up and leave with no validation. A lot of people honestly just want to pick up and leave without explaining anything because it's just too much. A lot of people that watch you or whoever that is getting these readings, all right, you don't need to, to feel bad for wanting to go somebody. You don't need to feel obligated to owe anyone an explanation if you want to just pick up and leave. You must be content with a choice that's going to fulfill your heart and your emotions and trust yourself for once. And that's what somebody is going through right now. Somebody is being content. Somebody is learning how to be content when it comes to just leaving and not owing anyone an explanation, not feeling guilty for not wanting to just express yourself for a thousand, the thousandth time. All right. Somebody is learning that somebody is going through that. Feeling confident and content and finding peace in a situation by not explaining, by, by moving in silence. And just picking up and go. All right. And just picking up and go. Yeah. And allowing things to just be. All right. Because there's a karmic lesson. See, what a lot of people are going through is an ascension. This is like looking at things, God putting things in your face for you to rise in your conscience and make conscience decisions. Okay. Spirit, give me more on this terror. All right, dreams. All right. Uh, a lot of these readings that you're getting, first of all, whoever that's the reader, this is a part of your dreams. You are in alignment. All right. A lot of your dreams unfolded and it's coming true in fruition because you picked up this beliefs. You picked up this divination, um, this, this gift or this talent that you had. All right. This is a part of your bloodline. All right. And for those, yeah, oh my gosh, this is a part of your bloodline. <laughs> this terror is a part of your bloodline. All right, it's a part of your legacy. All right, a lot of people are also getting readings and really understanding what family means and that their dreams are not trapped and that they actually have another opportunity and another shot with somebody else to fulfill this big happy family. That is what terror is supposed to give you. 
you know, allow you to, to continue your dreaming, allow you to continue unlocking that passion, that inspiration to go after every dream that, that you think about. All right, give me more on this tarot cards, please, and dreams. Weather in a storm. Weather in a storm. A lot of these readings, right? And a lot of these readers and viewers, right? We all are part of our soul tribe, all right? A lot of people want to talk bad or tarot because there are people of the, of the dark that utilizes tarot. But that's where we step in it, right? That's where we tap into our dark and know how to eliminate the enemy, Without pushing fear into nobody. All right. We must weather the storms when it comes to our dreams. But we also must have a support system. A lot of people feel like they're not supposed to have a support system. You need support. We're not meant to be in this world doing it alone. So it's very important to have the right support system around you. And right now, a lot of you guys have been finding that support system through the Tarot community. A lot of people you notice that is supporting you is people that you don't even know. It's not even the people that's close to you. A lot of the support is coming from tarot readers that you didn't even know or people that comment and y'all become friends. That's what the comment section is for. All right. So a lot of these readings, all right, have been helping you weather the storm. And not give up on your dreams and your aspiration. And that's why I always tell you guys. Your dreams and your aspirations mean a lot to me. This terror, whoever you're watching. If it's multiple. Alright. You've been weathering a storm. A lot of people have been finding inspiration in your readings. The people that's actually going to read this. You've, you've been actually picking out. The right readers to go to because it's been helping you weather the storm. All right. To your dreams. Your dreams are unfolding because of a, a, a new belief system you probably picked up. So good for you. All right. Yeah. Closing these chapters again. Karmic lessons. For a lot of you guys, you're closing out a lot of karmic cycles with people that is worthless. And I'm sorry to say worthless, but look at this. It's no time to be pointing fingers. It's no time to be blaming because everybody knows better. Now, there's too much information being brought to your attention. All right. So a lot of us is ascending. And actually taking these tarot card readings and really weathering the storm, really like that's that every reading is not going to be about relationships or breakups. You know, sometimes this should get deep in tarot or oracle cards. And that's why God said no more watering down our messages in tarot because these comics and the enemy needs to feel what God is saying. These enemies and these comics are learning. That the gate is locked and closed for their karmic tactics. Everybody learned the lesson. All right. And that's why. Because they wasn't learning. And that's why I say worthless. Because if you are a hot mess. Because other people are learning the lesson and closing the door. Why are you like this? This, this? this didn't just happen. This is accumulation of not taking care of their responsibilities. All right. Not trusting their judgment, not listening to God. They've been leaning on their own understanding and now they've been stripped from all of it. Don't know what to do, looking like a hot mess. Because every resource, every friend, every lover, every anything that was of help to them, God has taken from them and closed the door. All right. So, Spirit, what is this soul contract? Taking it slow. All right. So a lot of you guys, um, a lot of you guys are ending comic contracts and, and entering 
your new contracts. All right. And a lot of you guys are learning that there's no rush in a relationship because nothing lasts forever. And the more we keep trying to do things to keep things, we kind of forget about the actual experience and appreciation of the relationship. So right now, a lot of you guys have ended something and you are taking things slow. And a lot of you guys are rekindling or or going into new contracts and taking it slow. Letting it be. Not forcing nothing. All right? And a lot of these comics are traps. See, what's going on is a lot of you guys, you know, a lot of these masculines came into union with their true divine feminine, which is us tarot readers, which is us spiritualists, and which is us, a lot of our, us prophets. Because of this, we were more spiritually able to help our masculines fight this silent war, even when it comes to being healthy. Before us coming into contact with our divine masculines, a lot of shit that's no longer working now because you have shut it down was always working before. And that's why these comics were so threatened by you. So now that things are being taken slow, a lot of a lot of masculines are being aware of what karmic is. Um, a lot of these masculines are getting readers, but also are in union with high priest that is able and equipped to engage in spiritual warfare. Okay, these comics are feeling trapped. Because we not only got ourselves out of that entrapment by no longer living in fear and doing the things that we was called in position to do. But look at them. They never thought they would see a day where these of our masculines has been freed when everybody's doing good and that they are being exposed for who they truly are. And for a lot of you guys, these comments are going to be different for you guys. But they are trapped because now God has sealed the door. God has sealed them. They, they have been X'd out. They've been X'd out. They know they've been X'd out. You know why? Because they see your dreams flourishing. They see the divine masculine's dreams flourishing. And they've been getting too, they've been given too many chances. They have been pollution to the earth. By their actions. So just like. Um, our kings and queens. And goddesses and gods was being affected. But some of us weren't. Why you think we went so hard for them. Alright. Because they was being polluted. From these comics and by these comics. In many different, in many different ways. They. These comics are toxic. To our environment. And they cannot be trusted and they cannot be let out. All right. They've shown God on multiple occasions that they are not producing and they don't have the, the life force to produce back to the earth because they done made deals with so many evil people. So God has finally trapped them so that they, they can't pollute nothing no more and allowing the divine masculine and the divine feminine energy to rise. All right. Yeah, look. Oh. These comics are trapped now because us high priests and priestesses are spiritually more equipped to engage in a spiritual warfare that these masculines couldn't do previously. We did that by spreading the word through divine messages. We did that by. By disregarding what these comics was doing by taking it as a joke and a, as a game and still speaking on clearing out these comic contracts and not being distracted by the enemy. All right. These people are trapped because what they thought was going to be an end for our divine masculine and divine feminine contracts and our kingdom spouses 
is now reinstated the right way. And everybody is moving slow, appreciating the current moment, allowing things to be. All right. This is creating uh, energy of a burst of inspiration and, and your dreams. And, and you're watching these people are watching your dreams unfold. The, the very thing that they've been trying to stop is now unfolding and they are forced to just watch. Because they didn't, that's what they wanted to do anyway. They went, they were spending all their time focused on corrupting society and being pollution to Mother Car. They wasn't producing nothing. They were just adding on so many different lies and gossip, abusing the internet. God doesn't want you out in the world like that. So you got to be trapped. People like that, we must trap them and make them never get out. Okay, the divine feminine, divine masculine energy is rising. These people have waved so much spiritual warfare on your spouse and your connection. All right. And that's why the pressure and the severity of the results of their actions is so brutal and harsh. All right. Because a lot of us are spiritually um, connected to source and our opinion, voice and leadership matters. That they try to kind of um, dim. All right, look, anxiety. A lot of the comics are furious with the masculines. A lot of the comics see the masculines want to move on in peace. And that's why they are ghosting. That's why they are ghosting these comics. Because talking to the comics... And, and letting them know that they are leaving and that they don't want to put up with this no more nicely is not working. So they are being put in position and caught in position by the divine to make a choice. You either ghost them or the gate is going to be locked. And a lot of them know that they're not staying behind. All right. It's a whole lot of anxiety with these comics because they know that the divine masculine didn't just find an ordinary woman. They found their kingdom spouse. And it's causing a lot of anxiety. Look, because it's about the soul contract. They, they don't want the divine feminine and the divine masculines to forgive. After all of the, the, the falseness that they done stirred up. It is the worst nightmare that... Us divine feminines are really forgiving and understanding because we are high priests, all right? And that we know that there's a mission, all right, to fulfill. They are furious with the masculines. The masculines are waking up. The masculines are trusting the divine because they are Herophants and Empress, all right? They feel safe with divine feminine, all right? They've been getting readings themselves, and it's been really helping them connect the dots and clarifying and confirming what they already be true, um, what they already know to be true. All right, and um, yeah, this is their worst nightmare. The, the the comics are fucking furious. You hear me, furious? Yeah, letting go. Look, but see, look at the 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 symbol the symbolism. These masculines used to let go and still need one of the keys, like the keys to the car, the keys to the thing, the keys. God has made it to the point where the comics don't even have no keys to the house. The comics don't even have no keys to the car no more. So there's nothing to attach to the comics. That's how the God done set it up. So again, all about the silent war. All right. You are encouraging as a priestess. To release and let go, moving on and releasing the past, but without validation. Without validation. And when you do that to a comic and leave without validation or explaining yourself, the power gets stripped from them little by little. And they, 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 they become powerless because the more the masculines feed back into that argument, that's how they get the power. But if the masculines is not feeding back and just, and just leaving saying, take your keys, I'm gone. 
They can't feed off of nothing. It only builds them up in anxiety for them knowing that they're losing power. All right. I want us to clarify some of these, the, the trap person. Spirit, who is in this energy? Who is the karmic here that is trapped? Who is this karmic energy? Somebody from the past. Oh, a past lover. This was an ex. All right, give me more on this energy, Spirit. This was an ex that is now trapped. This was somebody that was trying to entrap somebody to keep them running back to the past. If they had history together. Ooh. And the hist. Damn. Somebody. This was an empress. All right. Somebody was dealing with. All right. This is. Could have been a child's mother. This is somebody you had a child with. All right. But they are trapped. Because they didn't fulfill their prophecy. The empress should not be like this, trapped, brokenhearted because of relationship, because she produces. So that means that there was an empress that did nothing to produce and give back to the universe after all God has given them. What they did was continue to have children and utilize the children to keep somebody in a relationship, six of cups, two of cups. The empress was not producing. They were just taking from the universe. They was taking blessings, taking blessings and not doing anything with them. But all of the energy that was supposed to be used to, to grow and to expand and to become this true empress, they used all of that energy to break somebody's heart because they were heartbroken. Broken people broke, hurt people hurt people. But the empress is not supposed to do that. Uh-uh. And that's why she is receiving so much heavy karma. The empress knew, knows better. The empress knows better. But that's what I'm saying. Nobody is exempt. These empresses is being exposed <laughs> for being worthless to humanity and history. This person deliberately, with all their intentions, tried to hurt somebody that they was with because this person wanted to expand, but they wanted to keep them in the past and they abused their power as maybe they had more resources than that person. But whatever it was, the empress is not supposed to act like this. And that's why she is receiving this, this, this heartbreak. And this lack. And this confinement. Like God has confined her. To the past. This empress must have did so much. To hurt people. Aside from the person that they were with. They hurt numerous of people. Just to try to keep somebody trapped. From moving on. To love. That's why they get in it. Alright. Spirit tell me more about this empress please. Why was her intentions to hurt? Love. Somebody closed out the cycle. Somebody closed out the cycle and pursued their love. All right. And this person was furious because that means if the cycle got closed out with her, they will have more opportunities to grow, to love, to expand and to experience here on this world. And it's like. And that's, that's love. Remember, when your heart chakra open, you know. You know what's going on. All right? Somebody plays judgment on her. Yeah, in a family. She was trying to tie somebody to a, a, a family, a happy life. And they didn't feel like that. And somebody closed out the cycles from the lessons that they've learned through divine messages. Somebody learn what true love is. The 
The King of Swords. The King of Cups. Exactly. He made the decision. He know what true love is. You know, the world call is you closing out a cycle, but also ready to experience a new one. He has closed out a cycle, learned the lessons with that um, empress, and now is ready to experience love in this cycle. Things are changing. Times are changing. He's following his heart. His heart chakra open. He's at peace with his decision. He's at peace with who he loves. All right. So, um, what's the closing messages for this Empress? Spirit, what is the closing? Wait, so Spirit, let's clarify the reader. Who is the reader? What is the reader's energy? Work. That's what you do for work. You, you expose the lies and you 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 allow people the deeper understanding and a and a deeper knowing of why things to him that happen like that. You expose lies. <laughs> Literally. This is you. The emperor. This is what you do for work. This is what you have control over. Alright? This is you. This is what you do for work. For a lot of you guys, this is like your career. Alright? This is like you own that, that form of work. Like legally. <laughs> Alright? Um... Yeah. So that's what I see. So Spirit, what is the um what is the um advice for this Empress? What is the closing messages? So they were they were thinking about a house. All right, so this Empress was thinking about some type of house. All right, that they are no longer getting for some reason. They were trying to proceed with a decision. They were trying to make somebody confused or something about a foundation or a house. All right. And that shit is over. Completed end. The, the illusion is over. Trying to put an end to somebody else's foundation is over. And now they have to reap what they sowed. It's this, uh, this queen, I mean, this, um, empress is living a nightmare right now because of the decisions that they chose. They, they made conscious decision to lean on their own understanding instead of what God was telling them to do. They knew good and well, God was telling them this wasn't the way they knew good and well. God did not tell them to make that decision that now got them in this thing. They made the conscious decision as the empress to do something that God told them not to do. And that's why they're going through this ending like this. And it feels like that to them. They made the conscious decision. They knew damn well, God was telling them not to do this. And they still did it, whatever that they did. And now, God is saying, all right, now you just got to reap the results. Every risk is not worth the results that this person, every risk, those risks that they were trying to take to end somebody was not worth what they are experiencing now. And that's because they chose to do the complete opposite of what God told them as the empress. The empress is not stupid. The empress is second to God. And that's how you know about false prophets. These peoples are not, these, these women are not empresses. They are false prophets. Spirit, damn. Yeah, look. Look. Not wanting something to close out. This shit came in reverse. These empresses, these are not true empresses. They want these divine masculines to stay back. So that way, the world could just be there. It's a war. Planet is under fucking attack. Main reason is because of these empresses. These are divine feminines. Not wanting something to close out. And then you got to question, why don't you want something to close out when it has been nothing but lies and betrayal? Tennis wars. That is not healthy. These are karmic things that you were supposed to experience and grow from. That they did not want to close out. It's fair. Give me more on these masculines. What's the advice or the closing messages for these masculines? Being independent. 
All right. Being independent, going after and learning their career, learning what they like to do, but having, having it solidified, reaping the rewards of their hard work instead of being with women and people like this, that's just bringing them down. All right. Moving away from the drama. All right. To success. The best decision you can make divine masculine right now is to move away, right? Get a deeper understanding, forgive yourself, and get the fuck up out of Dodge, all right? Because that will be the only successful way to go right now. Six of wands, all right? The five of wands and the six of wands. The, a new direction in a different way, in a, in a different approach, all right? It got to happen because that is successful. That is how you're going to leave all of that drama and chaos behind. All right. You know what to do. Somebody is after you too, Devon family, because I'm feeling like you and your nine of pentacles energy. All right, spirit. Who is this nine of pentacles? That he's holding on to. This Devon masculine. So, Divine Feminine, this is this is you. You are solidified. All your hard work and your right actions and, and how you surrender is paying off big time in the material world. All right? You are, this, this is harvest time for you. You are set. This is successfully independent in all areas of your life. Because now, everything that you're doing for money, it's a lot with your spirituality and your journey. This person was knows that you are the kingdom spouse. They know that you are their divine lover and they are holding on. They're tight. All right, to you. For a lot of you guys, this divine masculine was holding in things that they didn't want to tell you. All right, that it, it's been burdening them. It's about this queen of wands. All right, so there's a, these divine masculines, right, was holding back. A lot of information when it came to you because they felt so much respect for you. Like they didn't want you to see how they were, they were really what energy they was really in. For a lot of you guys, they was dealing with a comic that was a thief, that was a liar, and that strategically tried to put it into them. And that was the main reason. Of their downfalls and their burdens. They did not want to express that to you. They didn't want to express the severity. Of what they was going through. In another karmic relationship. Alright. Yeah. They didn't want you to know. This emperor did not want you to know. This is somebody. That wanted to. Present themselves. As a boss to you. Because they already seen you as a boss. They already felt that from you. This, em this emperor wanted to show on the outside that he was put together. But nine times out of ten collectives, you already knew. You already knew the burdens. He didn't have to tell you. He didn't have to tell you. You, you feel your intuition. All right, king of wands. Now he's ready to take action. Spirit, who is this King of Wands? Ooh. Yep. You know, Spirit just has been shoving this person to ask. This, this, this King is in an environment that no longer serves him. The people, the food, the places, the conversations, the ideas, nothing serves him where he's at right now. And he's finally ready to drop those burdens, okay, and set a new foundation and leave that in the past, all right? This person feels very, very out in the cold, like they feel left out in the cold, all right? They feel left out in the cold. This is what they're not telling you. They, this masculine wants you to feel like they are okay and everything, but secretly, how priests, five of pentacles, they feel very left out in the cold. 
And this is something that they're learning how to deal with. Speak their emotions, express. This is what you've been teaching them as a high priestess. If you feel left out in the cold, say it. If you broke, say it. But you can't keep not expressing your, your feelings and staying in that because it's hurting them in their finances. Spirit, give me more on this five of pentacles, please, and thank you. Tower. All right, they letting it crumble. They finally letting it crumble the, the tower come down when it comes to their love. Finally, that's somebody dealing with their emotions and realizing I got to pursue my heart, whether it's in another relationship, a job, a career. I just got to do what my heart is telling me to do. I can't keep fearing what's going to happen after that. These masculines was fearing the aftermath of choosing their heart because they knew that it was going to cause a disaster. But now these masculines, again, are in union with these high priestess and we are trained to go. We are trained to not only defeat the enemy, but trained to tap into your subconscious and allow you to be comfortable there for once. Uh, allow you to be fear free when it comes to expressing how you really feel. Allowing you to understand that you will not be condemned just because you spoke your truth. That's what us high priestess teaches them. All right. It, it, it enlightens them. It wakes them up. It allows them to have patience and, and work with divine time and, and stop moving so fast. The king of wands, that's somebody that's always moving. All right. So, yeah, look. Learning how to slow down. These masculines was always in the eight of wands energy. Too much energy around them. Too much. Too much shit going on. Coming from every which way. They had to learn how to slow down. So that way they could process. Their, their, their emotions. A lot of these masculines was getting so much information that they don't, they don't know how to process to make a clear decision. They, they needed to, they didn't know how to relax and, and be at peace. They just felt so in survival mode out of the sacral chakra that they felt like any information or information that was coming in at one time, they needed to have a decision instead of saying, wait, I'm not about to have a decision about nothing because I need to process what's being told to me. Now these masculines do that. They they are old. They they know or they're learning how to not move so fast and process what's actually coming towards them, right? So that's what I see. Yeah. See now taking a risk. All right. Really acting on, see a lot of, a lot of these masculines really, really love, like love divine feminine. They really, really love period, but it's taking a leap of faith into the unknown. A lot of these masculines have been programmed to be fearful of something that they don't know all the things to, or know the answers to. You gave them that inspiration to just go. And risk and tap into the unknown. Take a leap of faith into the unknown and enjoy the process, right? This is a new cycle that they're in. To enjoy the process and to finally step into the unknown because you did it. You did it. All right. So I hope this helps. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next reading.